ni tati za jamani Mimi ni seme au ni si seme ya liyo jiri Yelo ni kumba wenzangu ni maku Nani ni mla umu Mimi au ni mungu Ama ni mama yangu Hilo kosa ni langu Nimekubali nilikosea Ila bora ningea vibi wa ningelewa Mimi mwana wa mwenzio nimebaki hewa Nikisema nina waeleza watani sengenya Moyo unaniuma Vipi nitayasema Nani yataelewa Bora nibaki kimya Stop pretending, Eliud. Why are you pretending that you don't know what is going on in this house? Rachel, I'm supposed to be going to work. Uh, if there is anything anything that you should be talking about, please, let's do it in the evening when I come back. <laughs> no, 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 not today. Eh? Today we must solve this issue. If you keep on po postponing each and every day, when you need to, to solve Lini Kitu, You're acting like everything is okay. What are you talking about? What do you mean what I'm talking about? Yeah? Everyone knows about it. Don't tell me that my secret is out. Is it possible that Elud told his wife about my condition? Oh, brother, you have a very big mouth. Mama likwambia that you should never tell anyone, including your wife. And we agreed that this should remain as a family secret. What should I do now? No. I need to calm down and lay low. I don't need to react so fast. I need to find out how she got this information. Yes, I need to do that. Jana Lilienda Shule, Kwakina Lawrence. And Almost everybody anajua this secret about Roland's condition. And this is the reason why nowadays happening kwenda shule. Uh, who did you talk to? Niliongea na class teacher. Na alinielezea kila kitu. And Elliot right now, hmm? if you're not ready to do anything, yeah? and if you're not ready to support me, I'm going to do everything just to find the solution of this problem. Rachel, I have told you time and again that this matter is medical. This is not spiritual matter. And if it is medical, mona saizi bado ako tu ile situation. Eh? Mi pali mefikia, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it anymore. And I'm going to do everything, and I mean everything, with or without your support, just to help my son. Umesikia? Kama utataka kunijoin sawa na kama hautataka endelea kukaa hapo. Umesikia? Utashinanga hapo vitu kiongelea one thing, one thing, one thing and yet my son is suffering. You must think about yourself. Ah, ya, ya.
Mom and Dad are quarreling again because of me. But she didn't tell me not to tell anyone. But it just happened that everyone in school knows the secret. It's out of control. I no longer feel happy at school. People laugh at me. They mock me. But what can I do? Nina lo jambolina ni tatiza jamani. Mimi ni seme au ni si seme ya liyo jiri ae. Yalo ni kumba wenzangu ni maku. Nani ni mla umu. Mimi au ni mungu. Kuni leo kunenda aji. You're so late. But you're late too. Tumezoea. Si tumezoea, eh? We used to go late to school. Huh? We can negotiate with our class teacher. Not you, I see was there. What about you? What happened? I just don't feel like going to school. Eh? That's crazy. You're still too young not to go to school. It's a very difficult topic that can't be discussed now. Lawrence, Unajua, this is how people talk. Then after two days, you find them hanging on trees. If there is anything disturbing you, you can't find any other person to discuss it with. We are here. We can listen to you. Even if we are not your classmates, we can listen to you. Just trust us. Guys, I don't think this is where it should be discussed now. I just go to school. Mori, but don't give me cash. Why this sudden call? I was very far. Nothing much. I had just missed you. Missed me? That's a joke of the season. A joke? Don't I have the right to miss you or call you when I've missed you? Oh, so my catch. I was just joking. I missed you too. Do you ever miss me? Since when have you started missing me? How do you mean I don't miss you? I miss you a lot. Lynn. You have been dating for the past three years, and you have never allowed me to move close to you, live alone sleeping with you. What are you talking about, Patrick? So you mean, the only way I can show my love to you <coughs> is by sleeping with you? That is not what I mean. Listen, Lynn, I know you are a decent girl, and you wouldn't do anything for bargaining to ruin your respect as a woman. But three years, doesn't that sound awkward? Are you listening to yourself? Are your ears working properly? I have told you time and again, I will never sleep with any man until he puts the ring in this finger. That's why I've called you. Okay, go on. I'm listening. I want us to get married. Hmm? Sweetheart, I want us to get married as soon as possible. So why this sudden decision? <clears throat> sudden? You call three years sudden. Babe, have I been patient enough? I proposed to you two years ago, and you say yes. I've been patient waiting for you to allow me to touch you. Now I'm telling you, get married, you call it sudden decision. Oh my God, I hope Patrick is not serious about what he's saying. This is getting so uncomfortable. Lynn, say something or are you, are you seeing someone else? God forbid. How can you think of me in that <coughs> manner? So what do you take me for? A prostitute? A hoe? A slut? Okay, I'm sorry. Aish, don't you call me names just because I'm being myself. I do respect myself. That's why I've dated with you three years. You proposed to me two years ago, but I still kept my word. So don't ruin this effort. 
Even in the Bible it is written in the book of Exodus 20 verse 14, do not commit adultery. I said I'm sorry. <sighs> so you want us to commit adultery? So when we get married, God does not bless our marriage? Is that what you want? Thank you for your preaching. Amen. God bless you. Now tell me, what is your answer? Okay. I'm not yet ready for marriage. You're not ready? When are you going to be ready? I need time to think about it. How long will it take for you to think about it? I don't know. When I'm ready, I will let you know. Lynn, you are leaving. Yes, I'm leaving. As you can see, you ruined my day. Okay, I said I'm sorry. Apology accepted, but I'm still here. Is she okay? What is she hiding from me? I'm going to do my own investigation, and when I find out something fishy. Three years we have been dating, and we are like brother and sister. I'm now brother Patrick, and she is sister Lynn. Three years, no touching, no nothing. Waiter! Waiter! Ha. How much? No. Why? Mr. Dongo sent me to call him. I have checked all over the school compound, but I can't see him. Have you checked beyond the classrooms? Yes, I have checked all over. But Alison, have you noticed that Lawrence has really changed? I'm aware. We even tried talking to him, but I think he's affected by what happened. I really feel for him, but you cannot blame him. Even if I was in his position now, I would be even worse. So, how could we help him? We can just try to make him comfortable, then he can tell us more. What we are hearing at the moment is just rumors. Nobody has proof of what is being said. But if it is true, how is this even possible? What do you think? Who knows, I am green, just like you. What if we ask our teacher of science, maybe he might be having an idea about how it happens and how it can be treated. By the way, you have a point. We should ask teacher David. He must be having an idea, but we shouldn't trust him. Don't worry, let us ask him first. If he has no idea, we shall start from there. Shall we go to him now? Not now. The bell will ring soon. We will go there at lunchtime. Let me go to tell Mr. Odongo that Lawrence is not around. It is okay. We will talk to teacher David at lunchtime. Let me go to class. Okay.
What is the matter? Did you have a fight with anyone? I don't fight. I just feel like I'm losing him. Lose? Who are you losing? Who else? It's Pato. I just feel like he will give up on me and marry someone else. Mm -mm. Pato cannot do something like that. Uyu Pato moja najua. Aezi fanya kitu kama iyo. What makes you think that? Did you two have a fight? Kitu kama iyo. What happened? He told me that he wanted us to get married as soon as possible. Wow, that's great news. You know he has never touched you, right? Yeah. And I hope there's no other man who has ever touched you. You're correct. But this makes me even feel more uncomfortable. Not that I don't have feelings to be touched. It's my condition. What condition? Hmm. Don't tell me you're in this LGBTQ thing. Just stop right there. Stop. How can you think of me in that manner, Amelia? Oh. Ilikuwa jokes. Can you do jokes? That's a bad joke. You need to apologize to me. I am sorry. Pole. Happy now? Okay. Now tell me. Mbona utakipa toa kuoe? This is a very serious and permanent condition. It cannot be solved by anyone. Tell me. I don't know where to start from. Oh, please start from anywhere. Um, I've never told anyone about this. And I want you to promise me that it will not be heard from anyone else apart from you. You can trust me. Just tell me. Okay, come closer. All this time, You've never bothered to tell me. Yeah. Women with secrets. There is nothing we have not done as a family. I don't know whether to tell Pato, leave him, or surprise him. I think I have a solution. I am your brother. I'm gonna fight for you. Lawrence, my son, never worry you. I am your father. I'm gonna I know right now, Joe, Dongo you. must be very furious. <laughs> but now, to end the show, what will you tell him? Ah, uh, we will cross the bridge when we reach there. Let us not stress ourselves. We came here because we needed information from Lawrence. But guys, do you think it was a good idea to cut up on Ashley because of me? I think it was worth it. <laughs> it's much more important to save a life than to go to school. But he was not dying. You are dying, my friend. Do you know why most people end up committing suicide? This is how it all starts. And most so teenagers. Sanasana Sisi boy child. We never speak up. This is Lawrence. Those are just rumors, and they make me feel so uncomfortable. I think we should warn people about spreading rumors, because rumors are carried by fools and believed by idiots. <laughs> but again, Lawrence, I hope you will not be that these stories are just baseless rumors. Hey, poor Basi. Trendelen a game. At least you can afford a smile now. Julia. Sister Rachel, let's thank God. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for Sister Rachel. Amen. I pray that may her desires be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Karibu. Hey, Santi. 
Yes, I just received your call. And once I received your call, I knew it was urgent. Yes. So I just rushed in to see what's going on. Honestly, Pastor, I feel like I'm drowning. My family is drowning. My God. Don't worry, Sister Rachel. My, my family God will fight for you. Amen. What is it, Sister Rachel? Pastor. My son was born with a disability. And I have kept quiet for so long. But I need to take action. What is the secret, Sister Rachel? My son was born with a condition of hermaphrodite. Holy Jesus. Holy Vasanda. Gaidas numbers, gishes. Amen. <sighs> Sister Rachel, in the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 24, mm -hmm. the Bible says, By his stripes we were healed. Amen. Sister Rachel, I understand the condition. And the Lord. showed me that you have a big problem in your family. What? I knew it. I knew it there was something. There is altos in your family, Sister Rachel. Aye. And if, if we don't break these altars, nothing good will come out of your children. Blood of Jesus. But I promise you that it will not succeed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pastor, hey, what can we do about that? Sister Rachel, these altars must be broken. Yes. And to be broken, yes. you must do something. What should I do, Pastor? We must be three steps ahead of this altar. It's simple, Sister Rachel. Remember, when Moses saw a burning bush, God asked him, what do you have in your hand? Sister Rachel, today I'm asking you, what do you have in your hand? I hope you understand, Sister Rachel. Pastor, this one is 100,000 shillings. Oh. That is my offering. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Sister Rachel, you remember the story of Abel and Cain? Yes. Whose sacrifice was accepted? Abel's sacrifice was accepted. Now you know the Bible. Now, Sister Rachel, it's now upon you to make sure that you give a good sacrifice like what Abel did. Altars are very serious in our life. And if you don't give a good sacrifice to God, they cannot be easily broken. Sister Rachel, yes. you need to give a good sacrifice to God for your prayers to be accepted. For these altars, mm. you need at least three million shillings. You understand? Yes. I need to, the, to go to a mountain, pray for seven days, at the same time having a dry fasting. Sister Rachel, think about it. Okay, Pastor. I will talk to my husband and uh, I will come with him and we, we will come together with the money. No, 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 no. Sister Rachel, some matters you don't need to involve your husband. Huh? 
you know we have different faith and some people can be hindrance in your faith can hinder some things from happening so these things if you involve your husband and you remember your husband knew about these things has he done anything no the man of god is surely correct hmm? Eliot never wanted to associate this matter with spirituality. He might be hiding something from me. And the man of God will surely reveal everything. You don't need to involve your husband. Your husband knew about this, but he has done nothing. So I will advise you that you deal with this matter alone. It's between me, God, and you. Which is this place you brought me? I'm only trying to help my friend who actually doesn't understand herself. By the time we leave this place, you'll thank me. Watch our siwasi. Ukona shida gani? How long are we going to wait here? Nasuwache could complain. Since we came to this place, we've done nothing but complaints. We came to seek help. Trust the process. I can see another one. She's another one. She's very good sacrifice to the gods. She has a problem. I know. That's why she's a good sacrifice. Distance. What is she supposed to do? Bring the sacrifice to the altar. What kind of sacrifice, priestess? Do you have any money in your bag? That is nothing. Bring something big, equal to your problem. What are we supposed to bring in particular? Seven white cocks, seven white goats, and seven white cows. Are you sure if we bring these items, her problem will be solved? Are you doubting the power of God? No, we shall bring the items. Hurry, because the sun does not shine forever. You have seven days to bring the items. We shall bring the items. Now you may leave.
I have found the evidence. Yes. Can we meet because I can't explain. Bye. 